Hey y'all, my name is Kayla Cake. Welcome to my channel. So today we're doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm just going to be doing my hair, my makeup, and I'm going to be taking some pictures, but I'll just post them like at the end as far as my outfit goes. But yeah, girl, we just going to get right into it because I look crazy and I need to get cute. So there's that. Make sure you guys are subscribed and definitely follow me on Instagram as well to catch these looks, girl, because I'm taking a picture in this bomb dress that I have on right now. I love this color. My bra is showing. Oof. Get it together. Okay, so here's my hair. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Okay, so I need to, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna put this in a bun? My hair is just so long. It's so just like there. I just, I can't right now. So we are going, I don't know. What am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna just spray it down with some water just to make it easier to like brush through. I'm gonna use my lovely beads leave-in conditioner girls this is crack okay like I love this stuff so all right I'm gonna go in with some gel y'all already know I'll be using like 10 pounds of gel and now I'm just gonna brush 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 until basically like it's where I want it I could literally brush for like two hours straight <laughs> because sometimes I just need it to look a certain way and it don't be looking a certain way Okay, I'm going in with this Curl Defining Elixir. It's like a curl gel. There's literally none left. But it's by the brand Biolage. Okay. Usually when I do a braid, it gets really, really frizzy. So, um, I'm going to try to do like, kind of like a holding gel. Not a holding gel, but you know, just something to not uh, have it so frizzy. All right, now I'm just doing a braid. Three sections, that's it, super simple. And then I'm gonna just use a rubber band, tie that off. I need to go get some more, but I haven't been able to find them. And then with the end, I'm gonna just like finger coil it and just let it do its thing. Got a little mini curl, boom, all done. Oh wait, I'm not done, my edges, hold on. Boom, okay, so let's get into this face. Let me pull my ears out. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream, y'all, when I tell you this stuff is cocaine like i'm addicted i'm literally addicted i can't stop using it i have literally not even touched my drunk elephant polypeptide cream or whatever girl this is like 10 12 dollars that joint is like 70 dollars why would i even want to touch it when this joint is bomb like make it make sense but yeah ever since i showed y'all this in my elf video i literally cannot put it down like it's so good so Check it out, I'll put it in the description box for you guys to go ahead and purchase because girl, you will not be mad, okay? All right, next is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have not used this in such a long time. I got way too much. <laughs> it's okay. Um, But yeah, I haven't used this, well, I haven't used it in a long time on camera. I do be using it like when I'm going somewhere and I need my makeup to last. Like I went to lunch, not lunch. I went to my best friend's birthday dinner which you guys saw in the vlog and my latest vlog and I wore this and my makeup was just looking flawless okay like the whole time and we were outside and it was hot and I was sitting this actually helped with like you know how when you wear your mask and like your mask kind of be like rubbing off some of your makeup sometimes like the hydro grip was like no ma'am like you're not taking this makeup off today maybe another day but not today I'm also gonna go in, I'm like priming like hell, but Elf Poreless Putty Primer. This stuff is really good too. Um, I just kinda add it like right here, like where my nose is and stuff. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna be using my Cover FX Power Play in the shade G50. I haven't used this in so long, and I used it uh, a couple of days ago. When, when did I use this? I don't remember the first time I used it again, but it was probably like a couple of days ago, like last week or something. Girl, I forgot how bomb this is. But I also forgot how much I hate this freaking applicator. Like, why is it a squeeze tube? But anyways. And then this e.l.f. brush. Oh my gosh, the buffing foundation brush. When I tell you, that's not from the e.l.f. video. I cannot put it down. Like, I don't know. E.l.f. really just be hitting the nail on the head. 
I actually did do a fake tan. Oh my gosh. I did a fake tan. This is my second time doing it. And well, first of all, it's not even like my right shade. Like it's literally my same body shade. So it kind of just gives me like a glow or if my skin is looking dull and I do it, it just makes my skin look more, what's the word? Like just alive. So yeah, I ended up needing a more golden foundation and this one was like perfect, like perfecto. Okay, my scarf has exited the chat. It was just slowly falling, so I just let it fall out. Um, for my concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. That's a long name, girl. Honestly, a lot of the new products that I'm using, I'm really just circling back to them because these used to be my holy grails. And you know, found new holy grails and was like, to Lord mercy, a who? But now I remember who she is. Like, she's she's that girl. And I'm also running out of the stuff that I'm using now, so I kind of have to just dig into my collection, which is very small. I got rid of so much makeup, like so much makeup. It's crazy. Okay, while I let that sit, I'm gonna do the milk. What is this? Bronzing stick in the color baked. This right here, I don't think I will ever switch up unless somebody really comes out with just like that crazy fire yeah no she's staying i feel like it's been such a long time since i got ready like you know on my channel where i actually tell y'all like what i'm using but yeah i feel like i've just been doing the videos where like i just tell y'all what's going on like what i've been seeing on the shade room etc etc so yeah i feel like it's just been a while where i just sat down and really talked to y'all just about like, you know, what I'm using, what I've been loving. This brush is from Luxie. It's their 660 Precision Foundation. This one is bomb. I don't use it for foundation though. I don't know who it uses for foundation, but okay. Um, I use it to blend out that contour, okay? She's literally perfect for that. But yeah, how have you guys been? I honestly have just been so busy, like so busy. It is kind of like, just I don't know just working on stuff like behind the scenes but also working on YouTube stuff as well and I just feel like I've been so blessed to just have certain people literally just in my inbox like me not even accepting it but just blessed to be recognized by the people that slide into your girl's inbox like it's actually crazy and I can just see that like you know I'm actually doing something so yeah, I've kind of been like living on a high about that. Like, you know, just feeling like I'm actually progressing. But yeah, I'm just blending the concealer out now. I let it sit for maybe like a good two minutes or so. But yeah, just for example, like e.l.f., like when I work with e.l.f., that literally just blew my freaking mind because like, who would have thought? Like me? Like, you're joking. You sent this to the wrong email, sis. Like, maybe it's a typo or something. Me? Like, for real? I just thought that was just so crazy. And it was such a fun experience. And I don't know. I just, I'm impressed, like, with myself. I just live for full circle moments. Like, even working with Boohoo. Girl, I used to spend my last on Boohoo. Because I wanted to look cute walking across campus. Okay? Like, you know what I'm saying? So now they're in your girl's inbox like, hey, we want to do this, this, and this. I'm like, girl, yes, let's do it. Say less. And you want to know what that also shows me? It really is showing me that, like, girl, if Boohoo reaches out, that means other brands are going to, like, other brands of that caliber are going to reach out as well. Like, Boohoo is a big brand. So, for me to work with them just shows me a lot. And I could literally sit here and be mad that, you know, maybe, who knows, like, Zara is not reaching out. Okay, but Boohoo reached out. Like, they're literally both big brands. So, you have big brand potential, sis. Like, that's what that shows me. I'm going in with some of my Hourglass Concealer. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but girl, it's the Hourglass one in the color Fawn. Just to like add a little bit of brightness. One girl under, what video was it? I made a video about like growing my followers and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And one girl had commented and she said she, dang, I can't remember. Let me check because it was just like, 
it just I don't know I wanted her to really see like what she really I think she was just doubting it because the numbers were low hold on okay I'm gonna look crazy real quick but girl we baking a little bit so yeah she commented on the video about how I gained my followers quick and it was like from my posting challenge or whatever so she said I've been consistent on my Instagram since May 8th or so so nearly every day on my account and stories um and she said she's only gained around 170 i guess 170 followers she said the views of my stories went from 20 to 30 to 50 to 70 so not a lot of reward for the amount of work i put in i use a variety of hashtags i keep as much of an aesthetic as possible i'm not sure what else i can do so let me tell y'all something she okay let me read my reply. I said, keep going. 20 to 50 is more than doubled. If you can double those numbers, you can double any numbers. If you do if you can double, you can triple. Don't get caught up in the actual number. Get caught up in the growth. So let me tell y'all something about how my noggin works. Do you not just see what you did, sis? Because I used to be the same way of just getting caught up in my numbers. I just feel like everybody should look on the bright side of things. Like she really doubled her numbers by being consistent and she didn't really see that because her numbers were not you know like very large numbers which is okay but it's just like girl do you not see what you just did there like I know it's from 20 to 50 but girl that's 20 to 50 if you can do 20 to 50 you can do 50 to 200 like you could just keep doubling 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 like you can double those numbers you can double any numbers and another girl she slid in my dms and she was kind of just like asking about you know she just started uh like social media basically and wanted some advice and i literally say the same thing to everybody like don't get caught up in those numbers y'all because you will literally be sitting there like depressed feeling like you really didn't do anything this week when in reality you did Oh, for my bronzer, I just used the Fenty, um, y'all already know, girl, okay? The Fenty bronzer, that's my stuff right there. So for blush, I'm gonna use this ColourPop one in the color My Sun and Stars. Ever since I used this in one of my videos, I don't even remember which one it is. I can't put it down. It's bomb. I love the color. It looks like this. And it has like little, not little glitter, but it's like um, luminous, that's the word. So... You don't even have to wear highlighter with this. Like, girl, do people even wear highlighter anymore? No. So, yeah, this is, like, the perfect kind of... I don't know if y'all could... Can y'all see that? Ooh, 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 ooh. But, yeah, just looking on the positive side of things has really... I kind of felt, like, just rewarded me into bringing more positive things my way because I'm just super positive. You know, sometimes opposites attract, like, the bullshit be coming to this, but I really feel like I'm attracting what I want because I'm also kind of just like speaking it into existence like I'm like I'm gonna work with these big brands look at my one eyebrow I'm gonna work with these big brands I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that so yeah I ain't mean to get all deep on y'all but that's just kind of something I wanted to share it's been on my mind all day like I just been kind of sitting here thinking like wow you know I'm really doing this shit period okay and it smells so good the elf doing dewy doing <laughs> the elf dewy setting mist bomb as hell smells good mm, 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 mm. all right for my lips i'm gonna use this milani understatement lip liner in the color shoot this is the salt and pepper collab but it did come with like a lipstick but i threw the lipstick away and i just kept the lip liner because this joint right here wow bomb if you like um this color i feel like they have a color similar to this but if you just want a bomb lip liner in any color this formula they just they ate that up okay like they did that rub my lips together like that to blend it out okay and then we go in with the same lip gloss i use every single time because i just can't get enough okay this is the well you can't tell because it's all rubbed off but this is the essence i think it's called like shine 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 lip gloss girl there is nothing left in here <laughs> i got a whole new one but i got to scrape this one first because it's not expensive it's like three dollars but it's so good like i'm not about to leave this little tiny bit in here it has to get used like i would just feel not right 
and then also essence um get big lashes volume curl this mascara is so cheap i think it's like five dollars and i love it it's so good this one and the um the fenty one are my favorites but fenty is expensive girl so we're gonna use this one and this wand is really really fat so if you have small lashes i don't recommend it but if you have pretty long lashes like me like this wand is just bomb Woo! 30 coats later, we are done. I'm gonna go in with my powder brush and just reinforce this area because she gets a little oily, a little too fast for my liking. So I'll just make sure I go in here because that dewy setting mist is gonna really make my skin look kind of like my makeup is lived in for like an hour or so. You know how first when you do your makeup, maybe all powdery? Yeah, that setting mist makes it look like you know skin so it gets a little just gotta like reinforce it right there so yeah that's pretty much it y'all i'm going to insert some pictures of like my outfit and stuff but yeah this is it boom 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 the braid look at my little curl I look a little raggedy to be honest So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, y'all. Hopefully you liked everything. This little chit chat, get ready with me. I'll do a little motivation up in there. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.